Hey besties, so what I'm doing is actually a Kit Kat wrapper. This has been a requested video, so I wanted to go ahead and get this done. Based off of the measurements of the actual Kit Kat wrapper, it is five by seven, but your actual design space is gonna be within this four by six box ratio. So I did a sample wrapper just to uh, basically show you um, what you would do and how you would actually design within those boxes. I also did square lines, which aren't necessarily necessary either, but you just need to uh, basically know how much space you're using for each section. So this is the space that you need. You can keep one template so that you know when, when you're designing each individual Kit Kat wrapper. Um, but this is what I went with, something simple, just so I can try it out myself. And this back piece that you're gonna design is gonna be limited because you're gonna actually glue or tape over some of this area. So once we put it together, you'll see what I'm referring to. Also, this side here is, is you can put some design there but it's really going to be small small writing or a small image um, that you're going to add there you can put a picture of you know bride and groom if you're doing this for a wedding or for a bridal shower or whatever the case is also another thing is if you do choose to do this with your Cricut you do have to flatten before you put your score lines in. So as you can see, all my image right here is already flattened. If you chose to do it in Publisher or Microsoft Word, it's the same. Same measurements, same um, same everything. You know, you're just going to print. And with Cricut, you basically have the option to score and cut, which you don't have with Microsoft Word. You can use a paper cutter to go quickly around the box, or you can just cut it with scissors. I mean, it's really that simple. So. I'm going to go ahead and get this printed and assembled and we will go from there. Okay, so there's my print score cut. I'm going to go ahead, continue, send to printer. ahead and printed two copies this one is on regular copy paper and this one is on glossy paper I thought two Kit Kats would have been enough not realizing that I actually needed one just to get the measurements so I only have one Kit Kat to use so I'll go ahead and use the glossy paper since it's pretty close but just based off of the size you can see the five by seven um, is is what you need and I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this one together. So I'm just gonna use my tape gun. You can definitely use glue or um, any other methods, but because this is really technically my first time doing this, I really can't say what's the better method, but we'll see how the tape works. Okay, so I did tape on all four corners and then I'm going to use the back side so I can see basically uh, what I'm doing and where I am putting my Kit Kat and I'm just spreading this out so it will stick okay so like that and um, because this is the side that I actually made the barcode on I just want to be mindful of that. Now on the actual Kit Kat wrapper, they actually tape it together like this. So we'll see how that works. And that's basically why I put my score lines um, down at the bottom too. So like that 
and then it'll fold over this way. That might make it a bit too bulky because it's actually paper and not, um, oh, no, actually it's fine. It looks pretty legit. I'm gonna trim off some of this edge right here. So this is the final product. I tried to make it very similar to an actual Kit Kat wrapper, but if you wanted to use the back as more design space, you can definitely just eliminate this flap and use the whole back as a, you know, a design space. And then you have your front. So if you chose to, you can always decorate the sides of your Kit Kat as well. That's what you would put in that 0.5 block of space that I added. You can add your image or font there and that way you can, you know, further d design your Kit Kat wrapper. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. And thank you again as always for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.